Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here and welcome to yet another video. It's a bit of a different video today uh, and I'll tell you how it came about, uh, the idea anyway. Um, as you know I do a lot of different uh, reviews of various locomotives and uh, in those reviews now I've started to put you know information about the uh, locomotives uh, within the video just to make things a bit more interesting. And actually while I'm doing the research about you know whatever locomotive I'm doing at the time uh, I end up doing quite a bit of reading about them and uh, you end up learning quite a lot as it happens and I noticed while I was doing that that a lot of these locos that I look at um, actually were not preserved and they were all scrapped uh, which is very sad obviously but it also gave me the idea um, that I wanted to make a video uh, with all sorts of lost locomotives in it uh, and so that's what I'm going to do today so I've got a little introduction for you um, so here we go uh, so the UK steam era ended during the 1960s and uh, I think the final steam locomotive was withdrawn and scrapped in 1968. Thousands of British steam locomotives were scrapped in various locations including Swindon Works and the famous Wooden Brothers Scrapyard uh, which is also known as Barry Scrapyard. Uh, and that scrapyard, Barry, um, 297 locomotives were sent there um, to be destroyed or scrapped and actually 213 of them were saved and as a result of rescuing those locomotives from Barry Scrapyard um, there's examples from many many different classes of locomotives that have been saved um, but many were not unfortunately and I thought some of those I'd show you today uh, in the model form of course which is the only form we can appreciate them in sometimes uh, now I realise that some of the locomotives I'm going to show you today um, are older classes that were probably lost before um, the 1960s um, but still, uh, nonetheless, uh, none of them remain. so I thought it would still be alright to uh, show you those today. So I've got 10 locomotives to show you today, um, so let's get on with it. I'm going to start with all the modern locomotives first uh, for the first half, and then the second half is going to be all the Triang and older Hornby ones, which are lovely as well. So let's get on with it. Alright, so the first loco we're going to look at then is the LNER Class P2, uh, which was designed by Sir Nigel Gresley. And I thought this would be a particularly interesting one to start with, because effectively uh, we lost this locomotive twice. Um, originally there were six of these uh, 282s produced by Sir Nigel Gresley, but then when Thompson came along, Edward Thompson, they were all rebuilt into his A2-2, and as a result of him doing that, uh, we lost all the P2s. But then we lost the locomotives again uh, at the end of steam, or towards the end of steam, when they were all scrapped, and in fact by 1962 there were no more A2-2s left either. Uh, so that's a particularly interesting one to start with, I think. Uh, that's the P2, a 282, very unique and uh, very recognisable locomotive. This is the Hornby version of her, and she'll be running in just a moment. Uh, but first, let's move on to the next loco to look at. And here she is, this is the J50, and of course there's been quite a lot of hype about this loco recently because Hornby have just produced a brand new version of her. And it's absolutely lovely, as you can see. Uh, and quite sadly there were 102 of these produced originally, which is quite a lot obviously, and uh, all of those were scrapped. Uh, but this one's made not too bad by the fact that a replica is being planned. Apparently there hasn't been any progress yet, <laughs> but still it's being planned, so maybe one day we'll end up with a new J50. Uh, but for now, sadly none of them remain. They were all scrapped, uh, which is a shame. So, lovely 060 tank engine there as you can see, LNER number 635. And just like the P2, she's going to be running in just a few minutes. But before we do, let's check out yet another loco. And next up, this is a tank engine by Henry Fowler. As you can probably tell, this is his 4P, and it's a 264 locomotive. And I was very surprised to find out again that these were all scrapped. I just assumed that there were some of these, because I've seen them so often in model form. It just seems silly that there weren't any left in real life, but no, apparently that's true. There were 125 of them produced, which is quite a lot for a passenger locomotive, I suppose. Um, but they've all gone, they're all scrapped. Uh, but again, luckily there is research uh, going underway uh, for a new replica to be built, which hopefully will happen, and uh, you know, these are very, very beautiful locomotives, and it would be absolutely wonderful uh, to see one of these uh, back on the rails again, you know, in real life. Uh, but no, model form is all we've got at the moment, uh, which is a shame, uh, but as you can see, um, it is a lovely locomotive, so hopefully you'll enjoy seeing her running uh, in just a minute. Next up then... It's one of the classic Great Western 460s, and this one's the county class. Uh, it's number 1006, County of Cornwall. And I'm a bit confused about this, to be honest, uh, because there are two classes of Great Western locomotives, 
called the County Class. There's this one, which is the 460, and there's also a 4402, uh, which I've never shown on the channel before, uh, but I have got a couple of them now, which I'm going to review and unbox together and whatnot at one point, but still. Um, but yeah, this one is known as the 1000 Class, County Class, whatever, and I don't know about the other one, uh, but actually neither class were preserved. Uh, but this is the one I thought I'd show you today, and there were 30 of these produced, exactly 30, and all of them were scrapped. Uh, but apparently there is a replica being built, um, so that would be great as well. Um, but most of the major Great Western 460s have been preserved, you know, the Castle class, the Hall class, the King class. Uh, but no, this County class apparently was one that was not, and it's a very cute little loco too. Uh, I've also ordered a Star class as well, a Hornby Star class, so hopefully one day I'll be able to review that for you, if it works alright, and you know, all that nonsense. Uh, but for now, let's move on to the final loco of the first five, and then we'll get them all running. So this one is the Patriot class from the LMS, and I must be quite ignorant about this because I didn't realise that none of these were preserved either, but apparently not. There are a lot of similar locomotives that have been preserved, like the Royal Scott, for example, is a very, very similar LMS 460, um, and I think there's been quite a few of those preserved. I did know that, I did know that. <laughs> so I'm not completely ignorant, but yeah, apparently no Patriot classes were preserved. Um, there were 52 of them produced, in fact, um, in total, um, all scrapped, unfortunately. But once again, um, as is the case with lots of these that I'm showing you today, um, there is one, uh, a new one to be built. I'm not too sure about uh, how far they've got yet, um, in terms of progress. But certainly that would be great if they were to create a new one, uh, well a replica. Uh, it would be lovely to see one of the Patriots back on the line. Anyway, time to run them all. This one is number 45540 and it's classified as a 6P and it's called Sir Robert Turnbull. Uh, let's get this five going then and uh, I'll give you a little commentary about what you're seeing uh, as they go around. But for the most part it's just going to be a few minutes of them all running. So enjoy that and I'll be back here in just a second with the Triang Hornby ones. There goes the P2 with quite a big rake of teak coaches and she'd probably be quite capable of pulling more than just those six or so coaches um, but she's more than happy pulling those. And the county class there has got a nice rake of Great Western coaches including a restaurant car in the centre there. There's Fowler's 4P with a rake of, well it's quite a small rake of LMS passenger coaches, looking very very smart indeed.
And there's the new Hornby J50, the LNER Black, uh, pulling my rate are tankers. Now quite a few of them there, for good freight speed. And on the other line there's the Patriot class, so Robert Turnbull, with the same rake of LMS coaches. Uh, looks a bit strange because the loco's in BR green, but uh, still, never mind. So I hope you enjoyed that anyway, it was just a, a nice excuse to get some locos running really and uh, you know give them all a bit of a, a run for you. Anyway moving on to some of the older locomotives in my collection now, uh, this one is of course Lord of the Isles uh, from Triang and this example is a GWR3031 class and as you can see it's running number 3046. Um, no originals of these survive either, unfortunately, uh, they were designed and built a very long time ago, uh, far before the end of the steam era. Apparently there was a replica built though, which was finished in 1982, and that was number 3014, the Queen. Uh, but it sat, I've been reading about it, and it, to be honest with you, it, it sounds a bit naff. Um, it wasn't ever a running model, it, like the tops of the driving wheels never existed apparently, it was really just for display. It just sounds rubbish. Um, apparently it had like a smoke machine on it, um, which made it look like it was steaming up and it had a sound system to make it sound real. So it might have looked and sounded good, uh, but it was just rubbish to be honest, it was just a, a replica. You know, I suppose it must have been very nice to see one, um, you know, uh, after so long, uh, but it wasn't, you know, if it doesn't run, it's not very good in my opinion, but I'm sure it was very good, don't get me wrong. Um, apparently it's still there, you can still see it wherever it is, I'm not sure. Um, it's somewhere, is it somewhere near London? I don't know. Uh, but the tender's been scrapped, apparently, so it's just the, just the locomotive now. Uh, I'm not too sure about it, to be honest, but uh, it was never a running replica, um, which is the point, I suppose. But still, this model's very nice, and uh, hopefully you'll see her running in just a moment. Let's move on to the second Triang Loco, then. And this one is, well, strictly speaking, not a Triang Loco. This is more in the Hornby era, but it's the 2P. Uh, I've got lots of different versions of the 2Ps, but I think this, uh, this version is the one that I've shown least often. And in fact, the last time I was showing it, it was in the video about L1s. I thought it was an L1 for some reason, but it's not. Of course, it's a 2P, as you can tell by the LMS. And, you know, it, just, it, it was a bit silly of me, really. But still, uh, yes, it's a 2P. And uh, actually, of all the locos I'm showing you today, uh, the 2Ps were the most numerous, with 138 of them being built in total. Um, unfortunately, though, by 1962, they had all been scrapped, and none of them remain, uh, which is a shame. But as you can see, it is a lovely 440 there, uh, number 690. The tender's a little bit rough, isn't it? I could probably get somebody to fix that for me if I wanted to but still it's in very nice condition it's a very good runner so we'll get her going in just a moment but next up here's a yet another loco for you 
And there she is, and I've never actually shown her on the channel before, this is, well it's her debut if you like, uh, on my channel. Uh, and it's quite an obscure one this, uh, there was only 10 of these built in total. But this is the Class E2, and as you can see she's running number 100 in this lovely sort of brown livery. Uh, and she's got the LBSC on there of course. And uh, it's quite a, an obscure little 060 tank engine, but I think it's very pretty. Um, and I've had this one for a while, and I'll do a review, well, an unboxing uh, and review of her at some point. Uh, but yeah, she's going to be running today. Um, as I said, 10 of them produced, uh, but by the early 60s, all of them have been scrapped. But this class of locomotive does still sort of live on, uh, and especially if you're a fan of uh, Thomas and Friends and Thomas and Tank Engine, you'll probably recognise it, because apparently um, the original Thomas was based on this uh, class of locomotive, the E2. Which is an interesting fact, I don't know if it still is, uh, but originally certainly, apparently, uh, this is what they used um, as the basis of Thomas. But still, let's move on to the next loco then of the day, uh, one that's quite popular, uh, so here she is. And it's yet another 440, <laughs> you can tell I like them, can't you? Uh, but this time it's from the Southern Railway and it's the Class L1 of course, you probably recognised it as. Um, and I suppose it's just the Southern version of the 2P, uh, but they're not exactly the same, they are different. Um, so there were 15 of these ones produced, so not as many as the 2P of course, uh, but they were all scrapped and the final withdrawal happened in February 1962. But as you can see this one's in BR so it's modelled uh, quite a bit later and this one is 31757 and it's actually classified as a 3P, so uh, I suppose more powerful than the 2P if you like, uh, but visually very similar. So uh, yeah, let's look at the final locomotive of the day then before we get them all running. Alright, so this is one of Triang's 262 tank engines, and it's actually modelled on one of the British Railway's standard designs, and it's actually classified as a 3MT, which means it's a Class 3 for, you know, either freight or passenger stock. There were 45 of these engines produced, which were all scrapped during the end of the steam era. Now once again, very good news, uh, there is a new one to be built, um, and it will be a replica of course, uh, but it still stands that none of the originals uh, survive. Uh, but it's still a very, very uh, pretty little 262 tank engine. I think this one's been repainted actually, because it looks very realistic, which I like. Uh, but still, it's number 82004, and uh, yep, hopefully you'll enjoy seeing her running. And that's all I've got to show you, so let's get them onto the railway and let's have another running session with them. So there goes Lord of the Isles then, uh, with a couple of Great Western coaches there, and of course she's more than powerful enough to pull those. And there's the 060, class E2 tank engine. Now I wasn't entirely sure what she should pull uh, in terms of rolling stock, um, so I went in the end for a couple of those red and orange coaches, um, because they've not got any railway company written on them, so <laughs> it's not technically wrong. Although I'm sure um, the LBSC will have had their own, um, you know, probably their own coaches at some point. I'm not sure. And now we're moving on to the two 440s, there is the L1 with four southern coaches and these Triang slash Hornby 440s are actually very very powerful, they'll probably pull up to six coaches. And there goes the 2P then with a few blood and custard coaches and uh, they're not really right for her but they seem to look alright with her so that's not too bad.
And lastly, there's the 3MT tank engine, uh, the standard class 3 tank, um, with quite a selection of boxcars on the back of there. Um, I do like to get those out every now and again. And uh, she pulls them with no problem, as you can see. Um, but then again, they've all got metal, well, most of them have got metal wheels on, so uh, it's not too much of a challenge for her. But still, she does it very nicely for an old girl. Well everybody, that should about do it. That's a little day with uh, lost locomotives, uh, with classes of locomotives that have not been preserved. So, hope you enjoyed seeing those. There's of course quite a lot more that I've not mentioned, um, but <laughs> the video would probably last a lot longer than I want it to. And uh, so, so I just kept it down to 10 examples, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, please check out the Facebook and Twitter pages at facebook.com forward slash samstrains and twitter.com forward slash samstrains. Uh, or if you'd rather stay on YouTube, um, if you enjoyed it, please don't hesitate to leave a like or even uh, a comment if you'd like to. But for now, everybody, thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll catch you all next time. Cheers, guys.